Welcome to the P63C5 King Cobra, a new plane in the French tech tree, and let's get straight into how this plane performs. You're about to see me dive on a P108, and just watch how the plane handles when it's going over 400 miles per hour. Now, obviously you'll recognize that a lot of German planes like the BF109s and even the Fokkerwolves will compress at high speeds and that's what you would expect out of the Air Cobra as well. That's what you would expect. But <laughs> roll rate's good. And as we continue in our dive, elevator functions smoothly. Now this is a plane that rotates um, not perfectly along its main axis, but when you get the guns on target, absolutely no compression even at the base of that dive you're able to zoom in and zoom out making this plane a fantastic boom and zoomer we've selected our next target we're about to dive down and continue just again this plane handles so smoothly under high speeds it's absolutely a joy to fly and with the power of that cannon you can take out even heavily armored planes like the Duck with one or two hits. Even if you don't destroy them outright, they'll take out their control surfaces. <laughs> and speaking of which, the wings on this plane are not all that tough. And we're taking off again. And you know, I'm not all that skilled in this aircraft. I just started flying it. And I'm not all that talented as a fighter pilot in general. I usually stick to ground attack or things that I can use in tank RB, which is probably my favorite game mode for this game. But I find air RB relaxing, and so sometimes I play this mode, and grinding out the French tech tree has been engaging and continues to give me enjoyment in the game. So here we are climbing once again, hoping to do well, and uh, you know, furthermore, a more talented player of the game could really show off this vehicle better and play it to its strengths but for me if I can find an unfair fight with this thing and pick up one or two kills that's that's the best I can usually do and it really speaks to the power of this airframe especially the way it's modeled in the game right now because it's able to accomplish things for somebody like me who's not a very skilled player of the game so let's see what we can do in this match here we are already high up in the clouds and we've encountered BV-238, the terror of the skies. Here we can climb rapidly up to him and just immediately delete his wing with that 37mm high explosive round and he manages to spray us a bit as he's going down. Kudos to his gunners for hanging in there and tracking a target as they're spiraling through the air. Truly a superhuman effort. But if I'm looking for realism, maybe I shouldn't complain in an airplane that just does not compress at any speed. <laughs> so we picked up our first kill and a very satisfying one at that. We're continuing to soar above the clouds and targets are starting to present themselves. And we'll see what comes next. Here we are diving into a group of enemy fighters who are currently turning with an ally. And again, I'm not very confident in this plane, so I'm targeting one of the enemies that's broken off from the group. And these Italian monoplanes are very speedy at low altitude, so he's able to maintain distance for a while, but he's turning in. <coughs> he wants to turn with me, so we're trying to get the guns on target. And again, really high speeds here, but we're able to maintain our turn. Except, of course, for the weak G-tolerance of these new French pilots. That's a, a serious balancing factor for the new French tech tree. All the pilots of necessity are new. But we managed to get the 37 on target before our allied P-47 managed to kill him with his flamethrowers of doom. P-47, we all know, being a very strong vehicle at any altitude and again with our turn we managed to line up that 37 and delete another enemy fighter 
not a bad performance by any means for someone of my skill level. That's a that's a feat worth celebrating. Um, luck worth celebrating, you could say, <laughs> as I stall out badly here. Um, and we're continuing this dogfight, but the enemy team is disintegrating at this point, and that's going to be about it for this match. And now we're transported to Norway, where I've found two BV-238s. One is dropping down to cover the other, and there's also P-47s flying cover for them. So we're coming in quick, just sliding in between his defensive fire, blow off his tail, dip down, check our back, and we're clear. Later on, here we are, engaging that P-47. He decides to run. Not the best idea. Tried to lose us in the clouds, but after about a minute of just staying on the dot, we've tracked him. Now he's diving again, getting a few hits on him, and this guy had some pretty good defensive flying, so if you want to see what the King Cobra can do in an aggressive uh, pursuit, here we have it. We're both diving at high speed. His performance gets a little bit sloppy as the speed increases, but mine stays absolutely the same. This aircraft is extremely solid and reliable in a dive. High speed maneuver is no problem, but you can see that my French pilot has spent too much time greasing his mustache and not enough time training his hick maneuver, so I have to pull out of some of those turns to prevent him passing out from the G-forces. Um, emergency baguettes at the ready. We may need to resuscitate Francois after the end of this engagement. Um, <laughs> but we've got him down onto the deck and the P-47 is far less maneuverable at this altitude and his raw engine power is not enough to keep him safe from my guns. Starting to get some hits with the flak and we set him on fire which means little to the jug, so we're staying on him. Uh, opening up with the 50 cals, following down, victories within our grasp here, and a beautiful connect with that 37mm high explosive for the kill. Moving on to another match, here we are at high altitude again with a French plane, the C202. Fantastic um, versatile fighter. It really feels like a uh, more nimble BF-109 with a bit less of a top speed. So again, he goes down into a dive. So in summary, the King Cobra is a fantastic airplane. Absolute peak performance in diving maneuvers. The archetypical boom and zoomer and with that 37mm cannon, plenty of firepower. Now, a little cinematic action. Francois to USS Jingles, requesting permission to land. This is USS Jingles, permission granted. Our engine is hot, we're coming in low. <laughs> uh, quick question, where is the arrestor hook on this plane? Uh, there is no arrestor hook on this plane. Th then what am I doing in a naval squadron? Somebody didn't plan things properly, I don't think I'm going to be able to- oh goodness. Pull up. 